Hey, what is up? Uh, I think I got everything figured out here. Looks like I got all my hardware problems going on. <laughs> uh, going live is kind of complicated. Um, I'm making sure my audio is working. Uh, but going live is going to be complicated. There's a lot of little hardware and things in here. You got to kind of coordinate. And they're not fun to use. Um, <laughs> I use these devices and there's not a lot of really good instructions on how to do them. But anyways, uh, today I'm going to review three portfolios. Um, I've got Jacob Musselman. Um, audio works. I just got the text from Zach. Uh, Jacob Musselman, Luke Hales, and Morgan Givens. Um, if you aren't already, go follow me over on Instagram. I'm sure you are because, you know, that's how you probably found me. Um, but anyways, uh, three portfolios today and going to just dive right into it and show some work. Um, I don't have my full monitors and everything, so uh, excuse me if I'm a little bit distracted here trying to check on everything. But I can see your comments. So if you have questions or suggestions, um, just uh, leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as I see them come in. So we've got Jacob Musselman first. Musselman, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but uh, he is from Indiana. Uh, Mikey Owens, hey, what up, dude? Thanks for calling me cute. Um, so we're gonna hop in, look at some portfolio work here. I'm just gonna flip through, kind of get an idea of what's going on, and then go back and you know, kind of give my input. Uh, number one, I like seeing the captions. I like seeing those in the corner, which I might be blocking those. No, I'm not. Okay, just making sure. Um, so I like seeing your captions. Um, you know, it's always good, I think, to if you're going to do news photography, to have your captions because that's, in a lot of ways, just as important as the photography. You know, we got to be able to see to make sure that you can do the journalism part in addition to the photo part. So yeah, some good details in here, which I like to see. Just got some general news. We got uh, Air Force One in here, and back to the front. Um, so these are kind of singles. Some of these uh, feel like they're part of a story. I like seeing these different ways of seeing, like these glasses, you know, and like these good little moments. Um, this specific one, the uh, Pence and Eric Holcomb one, uh, this is a little dark. I'd bring this up a little bit. It looks a little bit dark on my screen, um, but a good little moment here, you know, political coverage stuff. Some silhouettes here. Um, the graduation, this is a little bit weak to me. I, I know you're going for the graduation and the mask and the crowd. Um, just feels a little bit weak to me. I don't really have a good uh, suggestion as to what to do to make this better. But the composition, like it feels, the background's very much kind of all over the place. And then the person's kind of in the foreground here. Um, just feels like it'd be cleaned up and maybe done a little bit stronger with a different composition. Um, I like seeing, you know, these daily news coverage. You got to cover this COVID stuff and all that stuff. So it's uh, good to see these things in here. I love the fact that you're getting these details. Oh, no, let me go back. Um, it's really good to have details. Oh, I see what I'm doing right now. I got my face getting covered by the by my own logo. That's stupid. Um, so uh, it's good to have these details. Um, I like seeing these close-up stuff. Um, these are always good. I like seeing variety of frames, you know, going in and out, changing lenses. These are all really good things to have. Um, I feel like all the news are kind of like, these all work for like a daily, like assignment coming back with them. Um, none of them really wow me. Like I, I none of this, I'm like, whoa, like, you know, uh, like there's not a lot of spot news. There's no like big things. Um, like I think all these are great. They show that you know what you're doing. Uh, the captions, I'm gonna read this one. Um, Bison Ranch, Walcott, Indiana. Families own the farm since, you know. So th these captions look, you know, fine. They're, you know, well-worded. They're in present tense. Um, response to the killing of George Floyd by Minnesota Police Department. Um, like these are all like competent. Shows you know how to work in a newspaper you know how to do this journalism thing and that's great um but i think you can take it 
further. Um, you know, really, really try to push yourself a little bit further. Like um, this one of the the two people kissing. Um, you know, great. We got the frozen yogurt sign. Um, but like, like it could be cleaner. Like, why do I have the sign in the background? Do they own the business? Does it help push the narrative of the photograph further? Um, I don't know. Personally, I don't think it does because according to the caption, um, they're just just kissing, you know. And um, it's good to get a kiss. And I had a professor who always picked on people like you never see photos of people kissing anymore. Um, but it, you know, there's there's not a lot to this, I guess. Um, I like that you're looking at things a little different sometimes, like with the Air Force One, you know, this is like kind of a cool frame of this. It's pretty neat. Um, uh, but again, it's like you, you got to have some substance there too. So like the cool stuff, like the glasses and the airplane, these are great to see. This is great that you're seeing things differently, but I want to see more moments. I want to see more, more verbs, more, more big things happening in, in a news portfolio. Um, go to the protests. So, um, tear gas, milk, yep. Um, got some description of what is going on, why they use the milk. Um, I like this a lot. I like the contrast of the milk versus his skin and hair. Um, it's a good motion, good moment. Um, nice, clean, clean. You know, we're talking about those backgrounds. Um, and we had that sign in the other one. Well, I like that this one is nice and clean. It's devoid of all that. You know, there's all kinds of different approaches to making good photographs. Um, but I really like that this is a nice, clean frame. Um, just isolating him. We got a little bit of that. I don't know if modeling's the right word. I think that's where it's coming to mind from my art school days. But I like that I have a little bit of texture in that background. Uh, but, you know, just I like this a lot. Um, so we got some signage. Again, this is a nice, this is more clean, uh, more more thought process going into your composition, which I really like. Um, I love the color of those smokestacks. I, I know that's not like the point of the photo, but like little things like that, like the red from that with the red on the sign and the blue in the sky with the blue on the pipes. Um, you know, they might not have to be actually related. You know, obviously the, no one painted that, that smokestack and said, well, later someone's going to free you a red sign. Um, a red paint, you know, but it's cool to see those little ties come together. Um, this is, this is a very weird composition, but for me it works because of that color. Like I feel weighted to look at the graffiti, uh, down over here in the right corner, which I hope this isn't, I'm probably backwards, but I'm doing this the way I look at it. Uh, and then I got, for some reason those kind of balance it out. Um, but it's nice and clean, you know, clean sign, clean sky. Uh, even the edges of the frame are pretty clean. Um, and even that little car just kind of balances it out pretty nicely. This is a good little moment here. I'm kind of like looking past my camera. I kind of did a weird setup today, so I'm blocking a little bit of my own screen. Uh, but, you know, this is good. Again, it's clean, you know, like it's the background's clean. We got that smoke kind of blocking out some of the busyness. I can see a person holding milk back there, like a, a protester, I'd assume. But, you know, uh, back there, so a little bit of that interaction. But it's clean. You know, he's in front of that electrical box. Uh, you know, the edge of his shoulder is framed out and nice, you know, very easy to read. Um, a lot of this new stuff, it's like good to get it nice and clean, easy to read. And we look at our caption, Fort Wayne riot police officer kicks a tear gas canister across the street into a crowd of protesters. Um, I covered some protests in Louisville and saw a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, but it's just a nice clean frame. Again, Clean, I love it. I'm, I'm a fan of clean. Like, there's a way to do layered photos, um, but if I had to pick between a poorly layered photo or a poor clean photo, which I'm not saying this photo is poor, um, but like I'm just saying, like uh, clean backgrounds are usually much more legible. They run a lot. Wires like them. Papers like them. Um, they're very easy to read. You get to the point really quickly. Uh, but you know, this is this is nice clean. It's kind of hard to read that it's a middle finger. I mean, I did right away. Uh, but you know, again, because it's such a nice background, nice light, uh, well balanced, and I like the composition. I like that they're off to the side a bit. I saw a bunch of this too. Again, this is kind of good, like a little diptych between the two. We got the same sky, similar. Um, again, we know what's going on. Uh, you know, they're doing the overwatch of the protests and stuff like this. I saw a lot of this in Louisville. Um, I like this with the pan blur. You gotta be 
careful with hand blurs. Something's got to be sharp. I see a lot of people try blurring stuff, um, and then everything's blurry, and that that is not a good move. You want to make sure something is legible and clear in there. Sorry, I'm looking over, making sure I don't have any comments coming in that I'm missing. Um, so uh, this is nice, though. This is nice, and um, you know we got our motion on the face. We got the sign. I would like to probably see either both sides of the car cropped or the front crop or shown you know like we're a little bit in between on the car um, but again it's uh, very legible we got some emotion we got a sign um, it's a good use of a pan blur I like it this is great light this is really nice um, I like the detail of her ring and her nails uh, I think it's a tattoo there it looks like so there's some like we got a bit about her, a bit of her story, um, and we have the BLM, uh, Black Lives Matter, obviously protester. So it's we. I know what this photo is about right away, and I just get a hint of that um, police officer's uniform. You know, just enough that I know who this person is talking to. Uh, man, that light's great. This is really good. Um, I know there isn't like a big moment here, and maybe that's maybe that that's why. I think people would relate to that first photo of like the milk, you know, a little bit quicker. But for me, I almost even like this better. Um, I think the other one's probably better objectively. I don't know. It's all subjective. Uh, I love good light. I, I, I went to school in Rochester, New York, and the light was terrible. <laughs> so now that I live in the South, I like love seeing these good sunsets, this good light. Um, it's a lot of fun to me. So uh, yeah, I really like the light in this one. I like the details. Uh, and the emotion, you know, that little bit of side eye with the mask kind of halfway, like protecting herself, but, you know, trying to get a point across probably. Um, yeah, that's nice. Um, this one I would take out. This is not, you know, uh, does not fit with the other ones. The other ones are a lot stronger. Um, this, this, this doesn't really, yeah. So I think why this one misses is because there is not, um, there's there's not, it doesn't say much. It's just these guys standing here, but they don't look bored enough to be bored. They don't look authoritative enough to be authoritative. <laughs> um, and you know, the dog, the dog's cute. I love dogs, so I always wanna see pictures of dogs. Um, but I think uh, this is kind of an in-between moment. It's not really strong enough to be, like I said, it's not like, ah, this looming presence of police and it's also not enough to be like well there's so little happening that they're bored you know it's kind of like very in between to me um so i would take this one out um protester hold the phone up while live streaming his conversation which reminds me i can post this on my instagram to make sure um that everybody knows we're showing your work uh and um but anyways Sorry, interruption there. Um, protester holds the phone up while live streaming his conversation with a police officer. Um, some old group of police officers walked around the bridge. Um, it's good to see others' context of the conversation and talking. This is a little fuzzy. Uh, it's not very sharp. Um, this is, a, again, getting back to that first news portfolio where it's like good to be looking this way, but this maybe doesn't land. Um, and I like I like the phone, but like the phone's a little fuzzy. It kind of feels like it's focused on the guy's cheek maybe. Um, the colors are kind of in between. Like, are you going blue? Are you going warm? I don't know which. Um, but uh, a good way of seeing a good storytelling image to see how people are interacting with police that, you know, they're they're so worried about talking to police or, or I don't know if worried is the right word, but you know what I mean? Like they, they're doc like historically, it'll be interesting to see that people were literally live streaming their conversations with a police officer because that's where their trust level was. Um, or, you know, want to show, uh, information. I don't, I don't know exactly how to word it, but historically this is like an important frame to get. I think, um, I think it's just kind of an almost it's, it would run. It looks, it's strong enough to be good, but definitely feels like a little bit technically there's some flaws. Um, and maybe just a little bit more, I don't know what, a little shift of composition a bit. You know, maybe the police officer goes a little over to the right. So we kind of get this triangle going of like citizen, police officer, citizen camera. 
um, but it, technically it's just a little bit fuzzy in a way that isn't fun or pleasing. So yeah, this is nice. It's a nice silhouette. Shows the group. Shows the crowd. Um, I like this. Um, silhouettes are kind of a hot button thing for me. I sometimes feel like they're they're an easy way to like make a photo people look at. But in the context of this story, uh, this seems to fit really, really well. Um, overall, I say this is strong work. I like, I like this. Um, I, I like the framing of a lot of these. Um, I would definitely take this one out with the two police officers and the dog. Um, and, and this one I, I might leave in. I just, you know, um, I think it makes sense, but definitely feels a little bit weaker. Um, and, you know, in general, I think you, you want to be showing, um, when you're making a portfolio, when you're editing a portfolio, uh, you want to be leaving people with wanting more. So you want people to, 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 to leave before they get to a weak photo. You know what I mean? So you want people to have the best photos in their mind. So if you leave in something that's a little bit weak, um, then sometimes like people will hang on to that weak one, you know? So I'm explaining this very poorly cause I'm like trying to make sure my stream's all good. So, um, so say you have 12 photos, right? And 11 of them are bangers. They're awesome. And you're stoked on them. And then that 12th one is a little bit weak. People will remember that 12th one. Um, I always heard this when applying to internships and jobs. It's like, you always want to, you'd better off having one less photo and having no weak points, then you are um, leaving that weak one in and being like, oh, it'll look like I have more experience because I've got more stuff, you know, going on and whatever. And anyways, you just want to take that. You always want to be like one less to make sure it's all good than it is to leave that bad one in. So my advice would be take out those police officers one, look for maybe an alternative of that streaming one. Um, but I don't think that's bad enough to take it out maybe retone it warm it up cool it down um it, it just feels like it's again because that blue hour thing going on it's a little bit in between uh anyways so let's go back to some work um sports everybody knows me for sports <laughs> um so um so this is a good way to start um the toning's a little bit green. Those high school football lights, um, it's a little, it's either a little flat or a little too much contrast. I, I would tone this a little bit differently, um, but it's nice. Um, the caption's a little rough. Uh, Southwood Ragers put their hands on each other's shoulders. Um, that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that caption. I would probably say like, you know, huddle together or something like that. I mean, I guess that works. It just feels a little bit clumsy um this is very green on my monitor um which is calibrated uh you want to make sure that your toning is good i know when you're a college student or um you're you know younger obviously you don't have the fanciest gear and you know whatever um but like this is definitely green it looks a little dark to me i would brighten it up add a little magenta um but this is a nice frame a nice moment she's focused on that bar she spins around it uh which is really cool um just a, a nice clean frame again clean frames are always the best but this toning on this is pretty bad i do a little nose reduction add some pink you know try to get a better white balance um if you're not working on a calibrated computer um you know invest in an x ray and calibrate your screen it helps you get these colors better um, but also look at your curves and stuff you know um and and try to make it a little better there but great moment great point of view nice tight long lens cool um this one again toning it feels a little dark um maybe um a little blue or green too um but good like you know great shot of a national anthem you know um i like you got that isolated light so people aren't just all equally lit um this is really nice. I like that. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's nice, clean, isolated. Um, if it doesn't go without saying, the background of this is really black. Uh, I'm going to assume we're all following MPPA ethics and we're not burning anything out into existence. You know, this feels 
this is a very heavy spotlight, so I want to make sure that you're not toning things out of this frame. Uh, I'm not accusing anyone of that. I'm just saying, like, uh, this is an educational video, so to speak. So I want to always say, like, we don't want to be clone stamping things out of there or making the background black. Um, so anyways, um, that's a nice football catch, and it looks like it's from an elevated position. Um, that's, that's really nice. That's a really good football frame. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know if I'd lead with that, but this one won an award. That's great. Um, as far as peak action, I might want to get to this a little sooner in your portfolio. Um, the gymnast gymnastics is also peak action, but that's like a really nice, like I can work at your paper, uh, et cetera, kind of frame. I got some comments here. Noah wants to know my war zone loadout. Um, I'm currently running an FFAR at the suggestion of Noah because that's the meta currently. Uh, I generally run ghosts, so I don't run two primaries. <laughs> um, I play a lot of Warzone. Um, write down a link for how to calibrate your screen. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll get right back to you, Jacob, sorry. Uh, so calibrating your screen, basically you have a little USB device and that you run software on your computer that's run by Xrite, um, which is a they they make like calibration software and um, you basically run this software on your computer with this little device connected it goes on your screen the the software will run a bunch of colors and um, after that you have a calibration you basically have um, perfect colors so it basically that's all it does it's a pretty simple process I do it like once a month or so because um, screens change over time and you want to do it regularly um, but basically yeah xrightphoto.com I think or something like that um, it's about 150 to 180 bucks. Um, so yeah, pretty simple process. I'm going to do a YouTube video on it, um, how to get perfect color, um, soon, but I haven't, I've just been doing this 3d software class like crazy. So, um, yeah, anyways, back to the photos. Um, this is a great football picture. Um, let me look at the, the caption, Western Michigan, Redshirt senior wide receiver Dwayne Eskridge catches a touchdown against the Ball State Cardinals during the second quarter, December 20th. Um, these are, this is a great caption. Uh, this is cool. This is, this is a good caption. It's a great photo, sports caption. I really like that you have the time of game in there. Uh, a lot of professionals that I edit, uh, for some reason, don't do this, even though we ask them to over and over. Um, but you want to have your time of game. You want to have your half, your quarter, um, you know, all that stuff. You want to have it in there. Um, because, you know, if I go back and say, when was that so-and-so touchdown pass or touchdown reception? Like, I want to be able to have that information. Um, Joseph, um, no, I don't match my screen to the camera. Your eyes are going to adjust really, really quick. Um, so it's not, that's, that's not like a thing you can do, sadly. In the video world, like cinematography, I do have, um, monitors that I calibrate and they can link up and, like, you can calibrate those. Um, but no, it's not for that as much. You kind of got to huff it on the back of the screen and kind of get it where, you know, you kind of guess as best you can. Um, but yeah, um, it's way better. Um, yeah, you know, the, the back of the camera can be deceiving. Sometimes, uh, it's using a, like kind of like a LUT or it's using that JPEG preview. It can be kind of sharp. Um, but yeah, if you calibrate it, it's, it usually helps a bit, it helps them get it helps you just keep your you're you're in a better color space. You're looking at a more accurate representation. So as you make those, is this too green? Is this too pink? You can actually trust it. Um, and I like working in a dark room, uh, like darker. I always have like curtains and stuff and blinds, as you can see. Um, and sometimes you take a break. You just walk away and come back. You know, if I get really confused on a photo, I'll just walk away and just go do something else and then come back to the screen. So, but it just helps you know that like your whites are white, your greens are the green they're supposed to be, that kind of stuff. Um, this is a good track and field photo uh, as far as like a good use of hand blur. Again, you always want to have something sharp in there. You know, you got that face really sharp. Uh, composition's a little bit eh. I don't like the green behind them. They're in the center of a four by five or square frame. Um, you know, uh, I don't I don't love that. It doesn't feel as dynamic. You're also like kind of higher up. You're like at their chest or head level. Kind of want to get a little bit lower. So maybe that the whatever they are, it looks like hurdles, uh, maybe get a little bit smaller and they, they, you're kind of looking up at them a little bit. Um, but it's a good blur. It's a good pan blur. You want to be doing these. Um, the caption on this one's pretty bad. Uh, two runners race during that. 
Um, that's a pretty bad caption. You got to have identities. You got to have their names in a sports photo. Um, you know, it's good you have the event, but I mean, that would get you kind of a wrist slap if you filed that. Um, again, toning could be better. I know it's hard. You got more basic cameras maybe or something. So they're maybe going to pull a little green or they got a little more noisy. I'm not worried about that as much. It's just get that that frame uh, colored a little better. Um, like this one is definitely looks green blue on my screen and you got to work with what they gave you in these spaces. Um, but get a gray card, you know, shoot a gray card, you know, use that in your computer, try to get something going again, another video I need to make. Um, but uh, looking at this caption, we're back to a good caption, you know, dunks the ball during a game. Um, again, I would like to see the time of game first half, second half in college. Uh, I also want to see the other team. I want to see who they're playing against. Um, which is in the second sentence, but just throw in that first sentence. That's the thing as someone who edits uh, sports photos a lot. Um, I would like to see that in both. Um, a nice clean frame. Good to see them isolated. Background's nice and dark. You got great lighting at your gyms. I am jealous of that. <laughs> um, this is a nice, clean cross country frame. Um, it's cool. It's from an elevated position. It's a nice green background. Um, it, it, it doesn't really jump off the page like some of the other ones have, uh, but it's definitely not weak. It's, you know, it's runners. I don't know how exciting cross country can be. Um, this is cool coach photo. Um, it feels like it's cropped a little bit tight to his head. I'd try to clean something like this up a little more. Like I'm getting that referee's gut and uh, some other things kind of maybe distracting me from going straight to him. Um, if I tilt up or down, but I like that you're nice and low. I like that you got this idea of people in front and the ball, um, but I get to the ball a little slow because I have that referee in there. Um, and again, the, the colors are just um, not so good on your indoor stuff. You definitely need to work on this um, because like everything looks a little purple in this one. Um, these are technical things you can fix, you can work on, and um, I'd much rather be working on my white balance than I would my way of seeing. So. Um, this is the celebration dejection. Again, I'd like to see her celebration a little bit over in that empty space. We got that 14 behind her. Um, good idea. Uh, just make it better. So I like seeing, like, it's great to have the goal and the celebration. Um, but, like, she needs to be kind of moved over. And, you know, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but, like, kind of in this area where the empty space is to be a portfolio photo. I think I've said it before, but, like, you know, portfolio photo versus like a great day of photo are two different things. You know, this would be great the day of the game, but in a portfolio where I can really nitpick it over a few months, you know, make a make a better version of it. But it's a it's a good idea to have. That's good celebration photo. Um, I'd almost like to see a little bit wider, maybe get a little bit more of this group if there is, you know. But I like that we're right in on his face and his celebration. Um, but yeah, that's a good celebration photo. <laughs> that's wild um i like seeing different sports i just had a call this morning i was talking all about all these different sports and how it's cool to see stuff that's not you know just football and basketball um big thing i would say is this background is not good uh you know i got people just watching in the background i got this it looks tilted because of the fence and the wall and he's got these heads going on and you know i'd uh you try to pick a different spot to work from. I know this is obviously a very fast moving place and you, know, you shoot what's in front of you. But again, it's like when you go to pick one for the portfolio, uh, you definitely want to be picking the one where she's in front of a blue sky or green or just the wall or whatever. But nice light. Nice to be shooting into those shadows. I like, you know, we kind of get that warmth and that glow on her shoulders, which does help. She's kind of pulled off that background because of that backlight. Um, but yeah, this the tilting thing. Uh, with the background, this is, it's a good idea to be doing this, but I'd probably take this one out. Um, <laughs> I'd like always try to make it like an interesting photo of cheerleaders. Um, and the hair is just so wild what it does when you slow it down. Um, again, that person behind them is kind of distracting, like clean it up, like your protester milk photo. You know, if we just had her and maybe we have a different color for the background, or maybe we have that better light coming in. Um, but again, good way of seeing, good way to be thinking. I like, you know, mask photo, sports. Um, it's a photo that would run. So it's, you know, definitely not a failure. Um, but again, just step it up one more level. <laughs> um, this is like the moment where you might die. It's always, you know, what you're thinking. Um, 
is this is okay. I don't like that you're up at their eye level. If you can get on the field, get lower. Um, you always want to be lower. If you're looking up at them, it'd be a much better background. Um, it feels a little bit out of focus to me, maybe, but that might just be because it's like blown up. Um, but no, it's good. It's just not as good as your like touchdown catch. Um, this is all right. The light is gone. This is a better when you're, you're going for the portfolio. Uh, do this when the sunsets hit them. That's like the only difference I would make. And then crop in, like just make it all faces and sunglasses. You know, you got that sunglass photo in your news portfolio and you just like super tight and it's just like silver face or chest or whatever. Um, but I think just shoot this maybe a little bit tighter. Um, or get up there with a wide that's a different idea of it um, but main thing is i would try to hit this one the light is better like if you look at that girl in the lower right with the uh, purple tank top or whatever on um, like you'd see that light hitting her if that sun was around a little bit and you got all of them glowing like that that'd be something um, you got a lot of great celebrations and stuff from the the big games which is cool um, it's another good one the guy in the foreground is He's kind of in between moment. I really want to see more of the picture on that guy on the right who looks like number 24. Um, but like his, he's got those lights behind him and stuff. But overall, great. Like the jersey. Um, so, armor. Oh, I want to know a little more of the. Oh, you shot and killed. So that makes it better. Um, having the jersey, that's, that's, that would run in the paper. That's a good photo. Um, yeah. The cat again your caption helps the photo be better um this is pretty good again just looking at those backgrounds you know um put you know i've cinematographers talk about like light dark light dark you know so we got that light in the corner but that kind of hits his head and then the dark um just shift a little bit you know one way or another to get that light patch in the corner to be off or on but great way of seeing cool way of looking at basketball love the moodiness on a lot of these um it's nice more celebration you got a lot of celebration i want to see more peak action i want to see you do the hard thing um but these are good they're all good good celebrations um yeah nice clean again you know clean backgrounds help a photo get a lot better i feel like the emotions of this are just a little bit off they're a little bit before or after when they're going to be like super stoked um but it's nice this one i probably take out um you got a lot of celebration in your portfolio, um, which is okay, but uh, this is definitely weak. Um, it needs to be tighter on just the hands on the trophy. Um, you're trying to do too many things, I think. And also, it's really green. Um, and the pole, the field goal pulse behind that arm is really distracting, too. So, back to the beginning. Um, cool overall good stuff um if you want to check out jacob he is on instagram at jh musselman musselman i'm saying it wrong whatever uh this is awesome stuff jacob i really liked all this stuff this is a great direction to be in um overall i'd definitely be working on your white balance i think like definitely your indoor white balance from a technical standpoint needs some updates needs some help there you need to be focusing on that a little more um and it's going to elevate things pretty quickly i mean it's going to make some of the photos in your portfolio look even better um but um yeah these are a great start this is awesome work all of it's looking good i'd keep up what you're doing uh and just every time you get one that you think is good just just try to elevate it you know try to find what's wrong with it and fix that the next time that's a big thing i do whenever i'm working on things is just try to go one step further one step further um, that's always got to be your goal, but man, a bunch of stuff in there looks really, really good. Uh, you should be really proud of that stuff. Um, I know we talk here and there, um, so but you're still in college, and that's an awesome place to be for someone who's in college. So be super proud of that. Uh, I got a few more comments over here. Uh, hey Mario, um, I just usually do it on Instagram. Um, I kind of just did this one quick. I had a rough meeting this morning, so I wanted to hop on and do something cool and help people. Um, but you can message them to me on Instagram, Brett in real life, and I will, uh, try to get them on the next time. I got, I got all my technical stuff fixed, so I, I know how to do this. Got everything working with my streaming hardware, so I'm going to do them more regularly again. Uh, David, yeah, man, uh, non-journalistic, uh, yeah, I'm happy to look at non-journalistic work. Um, just, you know, kind of been keeping it in that vein, but yeah, totally cool with me. 
Um, I just like to look at pictures. So, all right, next up, and no order at all, is Luke Hales. And he is in between Chicago, Illinois, and Ann Arbor, Michigan. Get him on the screen here. Um, and we are just gonna look at some stuff. Um, site's nice and clean, easy to easy to look at. That's always something I, I like to kind of talk about. I didn't mention the other site was nice and clean too. Um, and so that's good. I like the, I can get to your Twitter, I can get to your LinkedIn, I can get to your Instagram super quick. Um, that's all really nice to have. Um, I like that I know where you're at. Um, contact about everything. Cool. I like, I like that everything's easy to follow. Uh, I like this tennis shot a lot. That's nice, clean preparation. It'd be awesome if she was hitting an overhand shot in that beautiful light. That'd be really cool. Or maybe serving or something like that. Um, but still cool, light, cool little moment. Um, I like the tunnel shots are good. I want to see a little more emotion, if I'm honest. You know, I want to see that, like, let's go, you know. Um, you know, but good, nice photo. Feels like you might be doing a little bit of heavy handing toning. I don't know what color this stuff's supposed to be, but it looks a little off. Maybe it was like a breast cancer game and these are supposed to be pink. Um, but just something to note that it looks it looks like you 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 maybe had the exposure a little off and maybe you toned it a little heavy, but I don't think most people would catch that. So um, but I like the way of seeing. I just I'll go for a little more emotion next time. Um all star practice day. Uh, it's a good press conference photo. It's a little tight. I generally want things tight, um, but this feels a little bit like really in on them, which is not bad. Um, but like on a wire, this would feel a little uncomfortable. Um, but nice smile, nice clean, nice background. Um, it's good. Um, whoop, Michigan State football looks on during a private workout. Um, first off, I hate the phrase looks on in a caption. I like that's my pet peeve a million times over. I hate the phrase looks on. Everybody uses it and it's so stupid. I'm sorry to everyone who uses it, but I hate the phrase looks on. Like looks on means nothing. Like, you know, say watches practice, say participates in warm ups. I, I don't know. There's not like you're going to see it used everywhere. I hate it. And a few other editors I work with hate it too. Um, but uh, again, there's not really an emotion here. Like you're just kind of like his hair and his chain and you know, that's cool, but he doesn't look exhausted. He looks like he's just kind of hanging out with his shirt on his head. Um, and you know, it's a nice clean frame. It's, it's a start, but maybe I want to see him when he smiles or maybe I want to see him when he's, you know, wiping that sweat off his face or he's, you know, stoked or something like that. But again, I, I like clean and simple and easy to read. Um, but you know, moments are important too. So there we go. Next one, big celebration. Um, by the way, your captions have dates, have things like that. You know, they look adequate. Um, I have no problems with anything I've seen so far, but that's a nice clean celebration. Um, colors look good. It's an indoor, I'm sure. So it's, you know, it's January in Michigan, so <laughs> better be indoor, I hope. Uh, uh, but it's nice and clean. It, those lights suck in tennis places that I've been. So, um, for what it is, that looks pretty good. Um, but great emotion. Um, I like that crop, that kind of three quarters crop. You could go super tight in on the face like you did uh, on this one. Those are always really good when you have somebody screaming like that. Um, but this is good too. I like his arms, you know, are helping that emotion. You know, it's not one aspect. Um, <laughs> this is cool with the hair. I like that. Um, that's cool. I like that. I like the eyes. I like the sweat. You know, again, we go back to the other photo and we, I get more of a story with this, like the sweat and the eyes and, you know, he's really looking at something. Um, I think that's kind of a cool way of seeing something like that. That's cool. Michigan M there are warm ups, I'm sure. Yep. Warm ups. Um, that's pretty neat. Michigan photo. Um, that's neat. I might put that a little higher in your portfolio. Um, these are great. Again, when it comes to leaving people wanting more, this is a good place to be because I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh, that was kind of quick, but uh, all of them were good. So it's like, I look at this and I go, ah, this kid knows what he's doing. Um, versus like, you know, if you had uh, two more of like these kind of in-betweens, I'd be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe you got lucky. <laughs> uh, Friday Night Lights, high school football. Um, 
scrolling through quick. I'd like to see information about what this is. I mean, I kind of always know what Friday Night Lights is, um, but somewhere, maybe a photo that has text or something. Uh, if this is a photo story, which I would imagine it is, um, I definitely just uh, want to get more of that info. I want to see more of what is um, what this is about. Um, clearly, it's a high school football story, obviously. But, like, I assume this is one team. These are good. You're, you're definitely, like, seeing in a way that, like, you, you're thinking through the frames, which is really cool to have, uh, you know, you're thinking about your compositions, you know, like, stuff like this with the celebrating 150 years, them walking out. Like, you know, this is a nice, balanced, good composition. Um probably a catholic school again i want to see the captions i want to see the information i want to know is this the team priest blessing the you know defensive end or something um i want i want that context if i'm gonna if i'm gonna hire someone which i don't hire anyone so i might be talking out my butt but um uh you know i love this composition i love the light coming you know it's coming from this direction you know like oh it's like the you know light of the lord coming across him um Good tonality, just nice. That's an awesome helmet on shot. I love the tarnish of this finish. I love this kind of straight on thing going on. It's super fun. Um, Trying to keep my other laptop, my laptop going. Uh, that's a cool picture with Chicago in the background. That's neat. Um, I like that. That's a cool football picture. I'd probably crop it in a bit tighter, like kind of come up on this bottom. Like I don't need to see their butts and their hips on this one. The photo is up in here with the ball and the hands and the helmets, um, but nice. Again, get lower. I don't, you're like shoot, if you have to shoot from the stands, maybe that's one thing, but like get down, shoot up into those helmets. Um, you know, you seem to be standing and stuff, which again, you'll see a lot of professionals do, but it doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. <laughs> uh, Nice water spray shot. I think you could turn, shoot into that light a little bit more. Uh, this is very nice. Um, but I think you could even step it up one more level, you know, and again, getting lower, making it a little isolated. I feel if you spun around, so you get that elbow out more and you just really get that stream of water, that would step it up even more. Um, but again, great frame. Nice celebration. This feels very genuine um feels like almost nobody's in focus which is a little bit of a problem but i don't think every photo needs to be in focus because ian wilms is my friend and that's how he feels about it um i i like how this we can, i can dance around this picture i got these faces back here and this trail of photos up to this guy in the front which i like that he's out of focus and then back here with the light and that's a lot, a lot of energy that's what you want in a frame like that and then we have the opposite, agony defeat. This this feels kind of old school. Um, it feels like a crop and an angle that'd be like old, like you know, barely got the cleat in there. This feels like it would run in SI in like the 70s or 80s or something like that, which which is fine. But I feel like this frame is a bit more modern, a bit more. Um, this this feels like more of the vibe you have going, and this one feels like, hey, I found this and I cropped it to make it work. Um, there's a little less purpose in the composition compared to some of your other frames. Uh, but still works, you know, still still good in there. Um, and, you know, this is this is okay. Uh, I like, like this one and the bus one. Um, these, I don't know, they, they feel different or off. I also don't like the 16 by 9 crop. It feels like you're like kind of fitting something in there. Um, but like, I don't think this has like following up these two with this um, again without captions. I'm kind of inferring a lot, but I don't think they uh, kind of fit as well as some of the others in here. So, man, like lean on stuff like this though, like this Chicago skyline in the background and this uh, this you know blessing photo. Um, add some data, add some text, add some captions. Um, but most importantly, like, you know, maybe parse it down a few frames, take out this, this dinner photo, this, this defeat one, there's a better photo of that. Um, and, and, you know, think about a story arc in your edit. Um, it's like, why are they celebrating and then defeated and then eating dinner? Um, there might be a good reason for that, but to me looking at it, 
doesn't really jump out to me as much. Um, <laughs> Noah Cohen coming through with that that Penn State hate, you know. Uh, you know, we are Penn State. Uh, cool. So that's Luke's portfolio. Man, that stuff's great. It's super strong. If you want to follow Luke, he's over on Instagram at LukeHales33. Um, hopefully that comes up. Yep. Um, but man, this is a great place to be. This is, you know, fun work. Um, look at all this stuff in here you could be putting in your portfolio. Um, but you know, th there's a bunch of good stuff in there. I really like that high school football story. Um, I just want to see a little bit more of, you know, those, I want to see a little more, uh, data with that high school. I want to know what it is. I want to know who they are. I want to know why they're doing the things they're doing and just cut that down a little bit. I think, I think they'll get a lot stronger with a couple photos out of there. Maybe flip them, flip some things out. Um, but like that priest photo, the skyline photo, um, even that tackle photo, like there's a lot of great stuff in there that I think you should lean on a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, kind of get rid of that little fluff on the edge and it'll make it a lot stronger. It's better to have eight, nine, 10 really good photos than it is to have 11, 12, 13 and have a couple of ones in there. Um, so yeah, so that's Luke Hales. You should go follow him over on Instagram there. And last but not least, I normally do more than three but I want to eat lunch today. <laughs> We're going to do Morgan Givens. Uh, and excuse me, he's on Instagram at M-O-W-W-G-A-N. Mawagan. <laughs> uh, sorry, I like to just have fun saying stuff a dumb way. Uh, Morgan, this site is really grabbing me. This is cool. I like seeing how um, I'm straight to the photos, you know? And that's really cool. So... I like that. I like that I can see what you're about super quick. Um, we can go to your about section, uh, about section, uh, Pensacola, Florida. So it's great. I know, I know what I need to know really, really quick. Um, so I'm going to hop into things as they're broken up here. Um, there's always differences on how you approach your website. Uh, this looks great. I like that I can kind of get a vibe for everything really quick. Um, and I'm sure I can click in here and then, yeah, like kind of scroll through with my arrows maybe. Yeah. Um, number one, it's always good to have lighting in your portfolio for portraits. I was told by someone years ago that they were like, well, if you want to get magazine work and stuff, like you got to have studio lit portraiture in there, even if you don't really do a lot of it. Um, but it's cool that you're learning, you're trying things. Um, you know, let's see if we can get through this. My arrow keys are not working. Come on, there we go. Now we can catch up. Um, some of these feel like you're kind of doing things to do them, like the green and blue gels on this guy over here. Um, it, it feels like you're trying something to try something, which is cool, great place to be when you're in college or if you're working for a college or you, you get the freedom to do that. Um, but it, sometimes it doesn't feel as polished. Um, and, and then you gotta make sure the basics are good. So like this dude with the mask on in front of the map, uh, like that's an okay composition. It feels like it's like a 35 or something turned vertically, which I always don't really love. Um, but, uh, you know, like that light needs to have a little more direction. There's a lot of bleed from like an overhead. Maybe the lights were on in the room. Maybe there's a window open or something. Um, but like really kind of direct that and do a little bit more to just make like a clean version of that photo, if that makes sense. Like this one, the first start in that one, like clearly you have a very clear direction of what you want to do. Um, there's an idea behind it and execution, but then like number two, number three and number four are kind of like a half baked idea where it's like, I'm going to do these gels. Um, but like the white spilling over the green and the blue. So we're kind of not getting that look. Um, the mask one, it's a nice clean composition of her, but she's looking into the shadow instead of looking into the light which, you know, you always break these rules, um, but I think they're not being broken for a reason. You're kind of like figuring out one half of the idea and then maybe not hammering down on the other half of the idea, if that makes sense. Um, but little things like this, like you're doing a lot of stuff right on this photo um, in the sense that you clearly had an idea, you have a, you know, a pose, you have an idea, but it's like, just really take that all the way to fruition and really get a clean one. 
Um, I think earlier in your career, like proving you can do the basics really, really clean is going to go a long way. Um, this photo of her, this looks really nice. Um, I like this. Um, feels like her skin's kind of retouched or there's something, maybe you got like a star filter on the lens or something. Um, so that's like kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, but this one feels like a little bit more developed of an idea. Like you want that warmth, you want that light. Um, she's kind of in between on a smile or something, but you know, that's here or there, neither here nor there. Um, I don't really love this one, this guy. Again, like people keep looking away from the light. Um, and that wide angle vertically is just like his chest and body looks huge and his head looks kind of small. Um, so I'm, you know, not as much of that. This one I like with this guy graduating. Um, you know, it's nice light on him. Um, this feels a bit more developed. Like you had, a, you had a good idea. You knew what you wanted to do. Um, it's just like a nice frame of him. Um, I like, this is cool with the, just the eyes. Again, this feels more developed. It feels more, like it might be a more basic, but it feels more properly executed um, or more thought out. Um, I like this one with the gold teeth. Um, and again, it's not lit, but it's like, it, it feels better executed, which fits better in a portfolio. Um, again, with the colored gels, like people do this stuff. There's a couple of people that are like, this is like their whole shtick. Um, it, it just feels like you're doing it to do it, not doing it for a reason. Um, I always try to find like reasons with video or photo projects to like, you know, that looks cool. How does it apply to the story? Um, so like this, it just feels like, Hey, I got these gels. I'm gonna throw them on and I'll make this portrait more interesting. But like the lighting's kind of like this up cross lighting. We got double shadows going on, um, and some stuff. And it's just feels like kind of throwing stuff at the wall on some of these while like this does not, this is nice, clean. Um, I'd shift my composition a little bit, get rid of that pole and just have that wood on the side. You know what I mean? So if you're turning your camera, you just turn it a little bit to your, your right, his left. Um, but nice emotion, clean, it's lit. Nice. Um, you know, again, this is simpler, but it's better executed, which is more successful to me. Um, this one with the guy, I would take this out. Um, this woman with the violin is again, simpler but great it looks nice it tells a story i would want another light where she's coming from um it feels like she's kind of looking in the shadow again uh, which again you can do but um you know kind of has pros and cons that rim light on her arm and the bow um i would like to see that rim light hitting her hair too get her some separation she's got this super dark hair um and a dark background um, I just want to separate her a little bit. You don't have to do a lot of it, but just a little bit. Cause that is just like pure black from the background to her hair and everything. So I'd, I'd maybe tilt that rim light up a little bit or, or spread it out or whatever you want to do, but just make it hit the whole edge line and just get a little separation. It can be very subtle. You don't need a lot. Um, and then on her face, I might want just a little more kick over on her face too. Um, this one I would take out. This feels like you're just like playing with photos with friends. Um, this is okay. Um, that plane might be photoshopped, maybe, uh, but maybe not. I'm not gonna accuse anyone, but it looks a little wonky. Uh, but this is kind of like old school business portraiture. Um, this feels a little like this just feels base. I know I've been saying like do basic, like execute it more perfectly. Um, but like he's kind of looking off. Um, I can't really see his eyes, and with his face being covered, um, this feels like maybe it should be looking at me. Um, but again, you're using lights, you're doing these things. Um, it's nice and diffuse. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a good way to be starting. It will work. Um, just kind of take it up a notch on these ones. So, you know, this is good. I like everything like this, like squared off. Um, that's personal preference. I hate like the wide angle looking up, but this is nice. It's nice light. I don't know what this is about. There's probably a button somewhere for me to see a caption. There we go. Um, professor and director of the public history, history manager program. So yeah, so he's in charge of this library or whatever. Um, you know, cool. Um, but I, I, I like things like this kind of turned flat, you know, so you're just like straight on. That's a personal preference though. I know some people want to have this kind of angle and a little more vibe to it. Um, but nice emotion, nice light from the side. Like, I like this. Um, this isn't, 
as much a portrait. It's kind of like a posed newsy sports photo. Um, it's it's not super clean. Um, you know, like they got a lot of people in the background. It looks a little tilted, which always drives me nuts. Um, just clean it up, you know, and the motion's kind of staged. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the stuff, but like a sports team would like, if you're employed by a sports team, they'd want stuff like that. Um, this is getting closer to what I think you're aiming for. I'd actually add a little like glint of white or blue light into this portrait. So it's not all that pink, you know, sometimes that's a trick that some people will do where they get the background and the rim light, all these crazy colors, but you just throw a splash of white on someone's face. Um, but this feels more of what you want those other photos to be. Um, you just need to keep working on these. So this is cool. I mean, this is a nice portrait of this dude. Um, feels very dramatic. Um, the background's intense uh, as far as like how dark it is. Um, but like the skin tones, I love like, you know, looking at his forearm and the helmet and the face, everything's really controlled. Um, I might want to see just like a flash at like zero power basically to like throw a little pop in his eyes. Um, that's a thing people would do. I personally like this the way it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I personally like to have photos like this have, um, Hey Pedro, I'm only doing three today. So just, uh, I see your comments on there. Um, so I'm not going to get to you today, but you know, shoot me a DM and I'll, uh, I'll get on you the next time I do a portfolio review. Um, I always like to have my photos not to be like a pure black background. Um, that's kind of, I just feel it's like a little more dynamic. Um, I'm also like a big fan of Dan Winters who does that. He like always has like some kind of background. Um, so, uh, but anyways, um, this is really nice. I like the light. It's a different way of shooting a football picture. Um, toning's nice. I, I like this. Um, this is kind of in between for me, like get a little bit lower, get that line out of the back of his head, that like dark gray. Um, it, it's cool, but you know, there'd be really cool detail, those tattooed hands and that paint marker and all that stuff. But like, yeah, um, this is all right. This is better, but I think we already have this guy in here once. So it's a little weird to see the same person twice, or maybe there's the whole football team did portraits over there. Um, I'm not going to go back and look, but, uh, this is nice. I think the other one's maybe a little bit better. Um, this is kind of like colleges love this stuff. Um, again, I want to, I just want to see more information in the background maybe. Um, but this is good. I mean, you could crop in a little bit tighter even, and maybe like get close to those eyes. Um, I feel like the balance of the two lights, like the background light might be a little bit hot on her skin and the foreground, light Might be a little dark on her skin. You could retone it, but, um, I bet you probably already kind of compensated for this a little bit. So that's awesome. That's cool. I like that again, like how much more dynamic would it be if we had some of that background? I mean, again, that's personal preference. It's not saying you should do that. I'm just saying like, I like to see like a really dark gray and just see like a little glint of something sometimes, but the black is awesome too. The total black is really, really cool. Um, these are cool, man. These are, these are, you should be doing more of this. This is a fully baked idea rather than a half baked idea. You clearly have an idea of what you want to do and then you're, executing that idea, um, which is a lot stronger than some of the earlier stuff. Um, this is okay. Again, this, this feels kind of like, you know, this is so epic. And then this just kind of feels like you're lighting it or you have windows behind, um, you, um, it just feels a little less direction. Um, this is okay. The composition's really off on this one. Um, you're kind of going for that art school straight on thing. The sky looks great. Um, this is a good start, but it feels a little less, you know, you look at how well executed, oh my gosh, uh, this one is, and then you go over to this one and it feels a little less purposed. Um, that's, that's, you know, that's a decent photo. Um, I want a little more pop out of your light. Um, but I like the background. I like, you know, this is a good start for something like this farming work. Um, this kid feels very uncomfortable. I'd probably take him out. Uh, this, so that other photo with the airport, this is like a better version of this. I like that you got a little bit of 
uh, a little pop to the light, you know, in and out there where there's a little hot spots and stuff like that. That's cool. Nice clean background. Um, I'd probably like it a little bit lower, back up a little bit, shoot a little bit tighter lens. Um, just because I'm seeing a lot of this like road and these posts and stuff um, in a way that's not really helping it. And I think I just kind of like focus in on like her and that white background and that University of West Florida. And I, I like the tree branch and I like the sky, just um, the lower part of the frame, it's just a little bit um, cluttered. This is kind of cool light again. Um, it doesn't feel like it has the right purpose. Um, his eyes are super dark. Um, I'm just glad to see you playing with all these lights. Um, this one feels a little cheesy. Uh, light's not hitting his eyes as much as I'd like. It just feels very flat on white. And you can do on white and still have contrast. Um, and I would try to like maybe pull them off that white, really blow out the white, and then you know add a little bit of shadow in there. Um, but like his whole face is like one, one value other than his eyes. <laughs> um, this I'd take out. Um, this I'd also take out. Uh, this I'd take out. This I'd take out. That I'd take out. Um, so you are falling victim to the too many pictures, right? So I've talked about earlier in this review. Um, you have some really strong stuff and it is getting totally watered down with just proving you've done a lot of portraits. Um, so pretty much everything, that's pretty cool. Um, this one I, I like, um, but like, you know, there's like seven in a row that I just wouldn't have in your portfolio at all. Um, and then, you know, you, but you had several others that were like really, really nice. Um, like all of these I'd be taking out pretty much everything. Um, here in this section I would be taken out um, so yeah I'm gonna go through them uh, but I don't think there's anything in here I would keep in honestly and I'm not just hurrying through this um, yeah I'd be pulling all pretty much all of these out um, so yeah let me hop back uh so stopping the portfolio uh, for the portraits i know let's, i'm going a little slower on morgan but he's got a lot more stuff um you know you don't want to fall victim to just putting stuff in there to prove you can do it like because you proved you could do it with those football pictures and you know the portrait of the lady outside the west florida building and a bunch of others um but instead of stopping there now i've seen like 47 like soft box next to my camera like human pictures uh and like that's you definitely want to draw it all back in remember this is a portfolio you want to just show your absolute best work um as far as the colored gels and all that stuff i see people doing this that do it that's like their that's their gig that's their shtick um you got to have a lot of purpose with that for that to look good um and you also kind of want to have like some absence of light so to speak going on in the sense that like for colors to show up you can't have that white light like overpowering those colored gel lights uh, which seemed to be happening in a few of those. Um, which again, is more specific technical thing. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, publications. Oh, cool. This is just like some tear sheets. Um, this is cool to see your stuff getting used. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, but, you know, good, good to see that, you know, you're getting stuff run. It's cool to see the final output of some things. Um, but cool. Yeah. Um, so I would, so I'm not going to go through four of these portfolios, um, or at least let me look at them really quick to figure out what's going on. So, um, so these are all pretty similar. Okay. That's softball. That's different. Um, so I'm totally okay with someone not just having like one sports thing. If you have like a bunch of sports. Um, but it's, a, I feel like a little bit confused as an outsider, like looking at two or three different, um, fairly similar portfolios. Um, just scrolling through this, this is a ton of photos. Uh, if this is your best of, I think this is like the whole year. There's gotta be 97 photos in this portfolio. You got to cut this way down like way way down um this is going to make you look much weaker because there's so much um 
this feels like a blog. There's just, I can literally see the color and toning change between games. Um, now, uh, I'm going to go back to the beginning of this. So, documents of Westworld in only the fourth year of existence. Arch capture first. Um, that's a cool story. Um, you got to edit it down into a story, though. Um, as someone who's going to look to hire you, uh, seeing going through this um most people probably wouldn't go and scroll through and be like all right well how many pictures is this they just start looking and then they'd be like what is going on like why am i looking at 970 photos um while i'm sure the university really loves seeing all these photos or they would run a gallery that's super huge this is your portfolio you're trying to get hired um you're trying to get the next job you're trying to get freelance work whatever um People that are hiring don't have time to go through all of this. That's like that's just the short version of portfolio reviews or applying to things. Um, I'd be shocked if anyone's going to go through more than like 12 or 15 pictures in a portfolio based on my experiences of getting my portfolio reviewed. People kind of get bored super quick. Um, there, There is, again, I'm falling victim to it right now because I just like I don't want to scroll through 97 pictures. Um, but it looks like there's some good moments in here, you know, like this stands out. Um, I'm trying to see. Um, there's a lot of, you know, there, there's just moments in here that are going to show the joy of winning and the agony of defeat um, and different ways of seeing and sorting it down to like, 10 to 15 is probably a good way to be one thing i will say in here is like many there's a lot of focus right now in sports photography to like make the cool photo and not the hard photo and i will say looking at all of these i don't see a lot of great peak action um like i see a lot of celebration i, I see a lot of team experience um a lot of jubilation um you know behind the scenes stuff and that's all really cool but like i don't see like you know like this for an example again i'm kind of grabbing these at random but like this is a fairly weak touchdown photo if it even is a touchdown um i can check uh um, team continues its winning ways and see how it plays uh so that's a bad caption um you want to know what's going on in the photo I know these are probably batch captioned, um, but like this is like the background's terrible. There's players everywhere. There's people everywhere. There's an arm or a ref's leg sticking out. Um, like that's well, not very good. Um, and then it that outweighs like you know a really good moment uh, here or there. You know, like this is nice light. But again, this background's kind of, you know, you want to have this person cleaner. You want to be over in front of them and not have these other people lit up just as equally as him. Um, it's, it's little differences that go from kind of average slash below average to really, really good. Um, I'm trying to find like a good action photo to like show you what you should be aiming for. Um, this is getting there this like catch photo but it's like way too loose like i don't need this ref in here i don't need any of this um you need to be lower it looks like again like a lot of people you're probably standing um at least it looks like you're standing uh but you get lower and that will get rid of some of this field we have this super clean isolated like catch photo up here if if um you're focusing in on that a little bit tighter and closer um cool to have a story of someone's whole entire season but like you know you don't want to show everyone the full take um because then they can just pick it apart you know like i am right now like i, I can find weak photos more than i'm finding the good photos right now um you know and again you, you seem to be doing great at getting like hammering these like celebrations and these behind the scene moments but like to be a sports photographer like you know it's hard to be really good at peak action and a lot of young people, um, and even people working in the industry, are like focusing more on like the cool photos or the behind the scenes photos or like the, you know, the celebration photos. And those are cool too. Those are important. But it's like do that and also get the amazing touchdown photo, um, or whatever. 
uh, crop this. Like, just get me that smoke trail in his face. Like, I don't want this guy on the left over here. But stuff like this is epic, you know? Like, this is cool. Like, this is awesome. Uh, and crop tighter, this would be even more awesome, you know? Once we get rid of this dude, we got the smoke trail with that emotion. Like, come on now. Like, that's awesome. So you want to you wanna make me find these quicker, though, um, so I'm not looking through, like, this old dude coach like walking off the, like that's not a portfolio photo and this is kind of corny like you know uh like you know the celebration photo you want is like the celebration of the national championship photo um like this i'd never put this in a portfolio and again i'm not trying to like dump on you here i'm just like giving you an honest feedback because that's the point of this uh so let's go to college football playoff um again this is already like so many photos like you're there i get that you covered the game um maybe in a blog post or a you know letter to friends or something you go ham and you, you post all these photos but like all of this pregame like pick one you know all of these tunnel shots pick one like or maybe two or something like that um you know you, you want to break it down to like what's epic which like this would probably be the winner for me just picking really quick like that's sick um but you definitely want to be like you know you just want you want to get like the one or the two good ones um you know basically stuff like that um elevated action sucks i'm not gonna put probably anything from 2020 in my portfolio um, because we got to shoot everything elevated. Um, but like, you know, find, find a good overhead one, find a good lower ish one, you know, um, you, you need like 10 pictures, eight pictures to show this story. Um, you know, maybe, maybe something like this, you know, where we see the 2021, um, you know, something like that again, stuff like this, you know, I get the CFB playoff in the background, but like that shouldn't outweigh what's happening in front being good, you know? So, um, like that's that's good clean action crop out that orange pylon uh in that uh i don't know what it is camera or shoulder or something over there um crop that stuff out get tighter get right to the action um but like you know that'd be probably something i'd maybe keep in because it's like a key or a, a good play um stuff like this like make it cleaner get one without the ref in the background um like that that's good keep something like that you know nice clean isolated um you know, normally what I say, put that in a portfolio, but compared to some of the others, like this is a nice clean sports photo that works. Um, again, like that's in the right direction. That's where you want to be. Elevated action is hard. I mean, it just doesn't, doesn't look that good. Um, crop this one straight, straighten out that bottom line, that, that sideline, crop off that foot in the top left, crop off that five yard line and just get it down to like, you know, get rid of this yellow, get rid of this, get rid of this and straighten this line out. And you just be like, boom, boom, boom. That's good. Keep that, like, for sure. Uh, this is way too loose. Celebration, you gotta be tighter on that face so I know what's happening. All of this I'd probably get rid of. Um, this is kind of more of the vibe. Um, but there's probably a good one. This is what's going on here. Um, so your caption, you never want to have past tense captions. Um, they want to be present tense. Um, was played, would like that never run. Um, so it's cool to have the second information with like, you know, Saban's seventh title that he bought. That's a joke um, and all that stuff. But like telling you what's happening in the photo. This is a trend I'm seeing across your portfolio. So I'm bringing it up again. Um, you don't want to like, you want to, like you're doing the hard stuff. Um, this photo feels weird. I don't know what's going on here um but yeah just cut this down like that's what you got to do um cut this down get it to a tighter edit um you know there there's good photos in here um you're making good stuff in here and you have a lot of great pregame and post game um but you really got to work on your action like your action is definitely not as good as i'd like to see it compared to how good your pre and post game, you know, like, I mean, you have like all these like epic things in here. Uh, you're playing with star filters and stuff, which is a little corny, but it's cool. Um, but like, you know, like this is cool. Like that's a cool pregame photo. I get a vibe, you know? Um, 
but like you know i can only run so many photos of them like coming out of the tunnel so to speak uh and sorry if i'm harsh i'm a harsh critic uh this is good work i want to make it better though um again way too many photos um you're good at doing the behind the scenes stuff um you know and getting things but like you know like this is uh you know cool this is like a cool way of showing a pitch i like that i can see your fingers on the ball and like you know see what pitch she's running um that's a good celebration photo the person coming in um for whatever reason this this feels like you're thinking about your compositions again a lot more um which is good so again there we're again like um doing more stuff you need more frames for this to work like there's the multi-exposure thing um but again it's like just give me a really good pitching photo before i get like a multi-exposure good pitching photo like i want to have like do the hard one like do do this the normal way really really good and then go be fun and creative if you skip to the fun and creative like in my opinion corny shit um then you know you got to like back it up which i'm not supposed to swear on youtube i hope they don't like strike me for swearing i try not to swear um and you're really good at getting behind the scenes and like spending time with these teams and doing this stuff um but again it's just like there's just too much you got to cut this down like i like that one a lot i love the emotion on that uh toning's a little heavy-handed like this guy's like too blue um but like that's like there's there's purpose in your composition there's emotion i know what's going on quickly like that should be the goal um you know in in photography in general but um like there like that's great celebration you know we got the water she's dodging it everybody's face is all electric um that's really cool um yeah let me back out of this see if i can find something good here at the end uh, sorry i'm like motoring through this um but the big thing is you know you just you just the biggest takeaway i can say about your portfolio is like there are great photos in here like they're really really good high level photos um they are sadly outweighed by a bunch of other photos that are just in here because they worked the day of um and stuff like that like how like that's cool that's funny you know i, I want to see stuff like this um but i'm looking through a ton of other stuff in the meantime to get there so yeah um where's your instagram morgan dude cool stuff man this is awesome very very awesome work um really like it uh stoked to see where you go next um just i think the the biggest thing I would say is Morgan is, you know, you want to find purpose in what you're doing and, and really then execute on that goal. Um, it's awesome that you're trying stuff, doing new things, um, working on all kinds of crazy stuff. That's awesome to see. It's really, really exciting. Um, but I think just like, like hone in on an idea and then just like nail that idea. Cause when you do that, it's amazing. Like it's really, really good work. Um, and as far as the portfolio goes, man, just, cut it way down that's a that's a big big thing um but man those portraits for the football players are just so good nice tonality perfectly balanced um really good work um and then the football too like those college football playoffs all that pregame is just super good um a lot of good stuff in there um i think the only criticism i have your sports stuff is just really try to get better action you know just really try to focus on the action a little bit more and try to get something that's a little step above, you know? And I think that's that's kind of what I think about when I shoot sports is like, okay, like it's not enough to just get a touchdown play. It's to get a touchdown play really good. Um, now I might file, if I'm working for a wire, I might file that touchdown play, like just because I got to, um, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna put it in my portfolio. Like that's kind of the way I think about it at least. Um, but man, I really love this stuff. I love the tonality. I love the control of light. I, I love a lot of the lighting stuff you're doing, but oh, those football portraits are so good. I'm really stoked on those. Uh, so yeah, everybody, thank you so much for sending in work. I really love doing this. As I said, I've got all my technical things figured out here. So hopefully I'll be able to do more of the live streaming uh, going forward. Um, and that'll be good. Um, but 
yeah, I'm really stoked to have everybody watching and helping out. And if you see these people on Instagram, you should go give them a follow and obviously shout them out and say thank you. So uh, really appreciate you sending your portfolios. Everybody, great work. Um, just find a little tighter edits. You know, it's always a good thing to do. But man, all of you are just super talented and I love looking at it. So really appreciate it. Uh, have an awesome day. Um, very welcome. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go eat some food. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Ah.